things, and they need some encouragement tonight. Amen. Psalm chapter 2, verse number 1. The Bible said, Why do the heathen range and the people imagine a vain thing? Then I'm going to jump on down out of verse number 6. He said, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Our Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come once again tonight in the name of Jesus. That name that's above every name, God, I realize. Without you tonight, God, I can't do anything. I'm alone. I pray would you reach down and anoint me your servant with the Holy Ghost and with power. And Lord, I pray as David said, I let the words of my mouth and the meditation my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, my Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. And Lord, will not fail to give you the praise, the honor and the glory. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Well, you know, I thought about over the last week or so, I've never had so many prayer requests. I come in and folks, you know that I've been serving God for a long time. I said, boy, I just don't understand how things are going on, the way that they're going on. Or maybe there's just some questions in the line. Why did it seem like that they are in the battle of their life? I believe that even David, the man of God that he was, he began to ask that question. Why do the heathen reign? Friend, I want you to know sometimes that the enemy, he'll try to come. Come, and we begin to wonder why it will look again. I 
we so desperately need. Amen. Uh, yes. I know sometimes we never uh, have the bottom drops out. It is uh, uh, because of sin. Uh, I know that. I understand that. Uh, uh, because sin, uh, amen, has a price. Uh, amen. Sin will pull you under. Uh, uh, but I love uh, uh, how when Job couldn't understand uh, uh, why everything was falling apart uh, and his friends were accusing him, uh, uh, he said in Job chapter 13, uh, uh, though he slay me, uh, uh, yet will I trust in him. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, I understand why uh, I'm having to go through it right now, uh, uh, but I still trust him. Uh, I know that he loves me tonight. Uh, uh, he's proven that, Brother Denver. Uh, their trust for God. I, I, when it gets to that place that they don't understand. I, I mean, man, I, I can't even begin to tell you the people I, I that have said, you know, I, I just, I never thought it'd be this way. I, I didn't think it was supposed to turn out like this. I, I, but amen, what did Jesus actually tell us? I, I, he said, if they hated me, I, I'm going to hate you. I, I, he said, in the world, I, I, you're going to have tribulation. I, I, amen, I I've never read anywhere. I, I pray said everybody was just going to love us and I, amen. Everything was always going to go the way I, I, that we thought it ought to go. I, I, but he said, in the world, I, I, he said, you're going to have tribulation. I, I, but he said, in me, I, I, you can have peace. I, I, brother, that's a secret tonight. I, I believe we've got to keep leaning on him. I, and I found the peace in the midst of our storm. chapter 55 and verse number 9. Amen. God's ways are not our ways. A lot of times we look at things with our own comprehension. I know in Proverbs 14 and 12 that there is a way which seemeth right. But God's ways are not our ways. And as high as the heavens are above the earth, I saw his ways above our ways. So tonight we just got to learn to trust him. Somebody said to me one time, whenever I was going through a little bit of a storm, amen, don't you believe the Bible? I said, oh yeah, I believe the Bible. I mean, he said, if you believe the Bible, then you've got to know Romans chapter 8, verse 28, that says, for we know. He didn't say we speculate, but he said, for we know that all things work together for good somehow. Somebody said, well, how can God get any good out of this? Amen, because he's God. Amen, and he knows how to do it. Amen, sometimes it gets way beyond me, beyond my level of comprehension. Amen, the Bible says, who had known the mind of the Lord, or who had been his counselor. I just got to rest in the fact that his ways are not my ways. Amen, and that I've got to trust him, even though I can't see all the details. There are times in life, brother, we like to know all the facts. We like to know, even my children, we're going somewhere. They say, are we there yet? Amen. Sometimes not five minutes later, are we there yet? Amen. Because they don't like having to wait. They want to know. We do God the same way sometimes. 
And we said, well, hey amen, you just asked me five minutes ago, hey amen, are we there yet? And I, I, we're still not there yet. I, I, but amen, God loves oh. us and he understands I, I, what we're going through with. I, and so when the heathen begin to rage, I, I, amen, sometimes we can look at them I, I, through the fleshly side, I, amen, and begin to get down. I, I let it begin to, you know, discourage us. I, after in Psalm 73, it said, said, but as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slip, for I was in the eyes, at the foolish, he began to look at them for a moment, and say, man, they're not in trouble like everybody else, but see, that's looking from the outside, but when he went into the sanctuary of God, Now, I know 
look, sometimes we get ourselves in a mess. Hey, Amen. We get ahead of God. Hey, Amen. You ever got ahead of God and messed up? Sure. Hey, we all have. The Bible said we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Hey, but I'm talking about whenever hey, you ain't really doing anything, you're just kind of hey, coming here to the place that God's got for you. Hey, that's when the enemy wants to rise up against you. Hey, hey, Amen. And say, what are you going to do now? Hey, I'm reminded there in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I went on King Jehoshaphat. Hey, Amen. Stepped up. I have been a king very long. And he gets the news that a great multitude of the enemy is coming against him. Hey, Amen. And you know what he did? He said himself, I have seek the Lord. strength begins to waver. Amen. And we've got nothing to go on. And nothing to move forward with. I believe man with Jehoshaphat. Amen. Was commanded to do something that sounded pretty strange. I could have thought that I said get the archers. I could have thought that I said get the army. But you know what God said? He said put the preachers out there in front. And in other words, don't forget to be thankful. by the time we get there. Because I don't know about you, but I raise my hand and say, God's never failed me. Amen. Hello? Yeah, come on. Amen. If he's never failed me, he ain't about to start because I, I is 2017. He's still God. Amen. Amen. Just like I've been to you in Psalms 2. Amen. David said, why did the heathen rage? And then God said in verse number 6, yeah, if I said my king, I on my holy hero of Zion. Amen. I'm still in charge. I'm still in control. Hey, but I've got this. And I'm glad to tell you tonight that no matter what you're facing, how God has got it tonight. Yeah. You learn to give it to me. Paul said that I'm persuaded. Have you been persuaded tonight that he's able to keep that which you'll commit unto him? I sure. He said. He's persuaded because it wasn't his first go around. I, I put his first back. I, I can't even begin to count the times. I want to know. I, I, but I can't count the times he's healed my body. I, I more times than I can count. I, I, he has provided for me. I, I, amen. He has done so much for me, Brother Denver. shocks us when we find ourselves in that battle. Come on. Hey man, you know, I didn't think I was supposed to be there. Come on, bro. But hey man, you know what? Ha! Hey man, we look past the fact that he's there with us. David said he's there with me. His rod and staff, ha! ha they come from me. Ha! Hey man, just because you find yourself in a rough place don't mean he's abandoned you. Ha! Hey man, he's there to help you through it. Ha! Ha! Just like the disciples though. Ha! 
uh, when they were crossing the sea uh, uh, and the storm came. Uh, uh, he said, sleep in the boat. Uh, uh, he said they were going to the other side. Uh, uh, but they got to looking at the boat. Uh, and they got to looking at how bad the storm was. Uh, and the boat began to fill up. And, uh, I wonder how long did they panic? I uh, uh, think they stand up for a while. And, uh, amen. They said, you tell him. Uh, and maybe they said, no, you tell him. forget that. Amen. How that God has been so faithful. Amen. In all of our lives. I mean, my, when I begin to look and I see some of the things that he's brought me through, I begin to wonder why then am I so fearful? Whatever things happen that I can't see my way clearly. I hate my first time around the mountain. But here's a verse for you tonight. I don't really hear preached on much anymore. Acts chapter 14 verse 22 I said confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we through much tribulation must enter into the kingdom of God he said storms are going to come Amen. God has not lost 
lost the enemy's power tonight. And your storm does not, amen, mean that God has win anywhere in your life or that God has I've done anything amen that you know like a family but amen God is reminding us amen to simply put our faith in action amen even though I can't see clearly I'm commanded according to the word of God to walk by faith and not by sight Meaning not what I see is what moves me. I, I, what I believe. I, I'm all ready if I walk by faith. I, I, then I know one step at a time by the grace of God I can still get there. Man, come on, brother. I mean, that's what allowed the early disciples I, I, the early church to turn the world upside down. I, stopped and thought about some of the things that they faced in that day. I mean, they were sawn asunder, crucified. I mean, brother, when they were beaten, they were beaten. Amen. And yet none of us here tonight had the reason that to come to the house of God. Amen. We are so blessed. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't be allowed things to pull us down so much. We want like Paul and Silas can find enough of God in the Philippian jail to still praise him. Wow. Amen, bro. After being abused, can't we praise him even though things have gotten a little rough? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Things have gotten a little rocky. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I'm telling you. I, amen. He's still there and his grace is sufficient. I, amen. I, I've had some storms in my life. I, I, but I can honestly say he was right there. I, amen. All along. I, amen. And he's that power of God tonight. I, James said, Amen, casting not just some of your care, Amen, but all of your care. I pray we need to give it all to him tonight. I don't hold anything back. Amen. Come on, brother. You need to count it all joy when we fall into doubters' temptation. Knowing that God's still in control. Come on. That this don't change him. Amen. These big times I've been out in different cars over the years. Snow coming, I think, I, oh, I don't have any snow tires. Or I don't have any chains. Amen. Now it changes my situation on being able to get in safely. But amen. Whenever you're in the right kind of a vehicle and you've got preparations on yeah. it, yeah. it doesn't matter if it rains no, no or if it sleeps or if it snows, you know you're going to be all right because you're prepared. Amen. Yeah. I want you to know tonight, amen, God has prepared us. According to the scripture, he has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Amen. Meaning, he has not said, well, you stand back there and I'm going to keep this. And you can't have this. You need this, but you can't have it. I know everything that we need, God is provided. If we just get a hold of it. And I'll tell you one of my most favorite scriptures. And I see it in my mind sometimes. in spite of the enemy. Come on. Amen. Come on, brother. Come on. You know, I've had company come a time or two in life. This is my you know, if I'm not real hungry, I'll, I'll try to not eat in front of them, talk to them. Amen. Sit it aside. But you know, it comes a time. I'm glad you're here. Thank God I'll talk to you, but I'm going to eat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a hold of it. I'm going to tear into this because this is this is for me. This is nourishment. Amen, friend. We need to tarry into the Word of God. And we need to feast from it because Jeremiah said, and I'm going to close here in just a minute. But he said in Jeremiah 15, verse 16, I've got words for family and I did eat them. And they were unto me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. So whenever things begin to happen and people say, why? Amen. Just be honest and tell them, I don't know why. But I know God. Amen. It's still God. A lot of times we 
get upset whenever it's not really over with yet. Come on, blood. What do you mean, John chapter 11? Ha, Lazarus died. Ha, amen. And Mary and Martha is in the house weeping. Ha, amen. They've given up. Ha, and they're wondering why the Lord didn't show up. Ha, amen. Even when Jesus did come. Ha, amen. Martha said, Lord, if you'd only been here, my brother would have died. But how many realize it wasn't over with yet? And sometimes we are mourning. We are crying. God says, I'm not finished yet. And he asked him, he said, where are you leaning? Ha! And they took him down into that graveyard. Ha! And this guy, this man who had been dead for four days. And they said, by now, he stinketh. Ha! Amen. He was not too late. It's like the song says. Ha! Amen. When my God ha! Ha! is four days late, he's still on time. Ha! Amen. And they rolled us from the way and he cried out with a loud voice. Ha! Ha! Lazarus! Come forth. Come out, our daddy. And that guy who looked like was too late got up and come out of that grave. Amen. Who's to say tonight that, amen, you're not on your fourth day and he's getting ready to show up and call forth the very thing that you give up on? Come on. Come on, brother. Amen. I mean, there's scripture after scripture come to mind. What about the man that laid at the pool of Bethesda? Come on, brother. 38 years. <laughs> Amen. What about the little woman had the issue of blood? Yeah. Amen. It didn't happen like that. I, I didn't happen overnight. I, I believe that God wouldn't finish it. I, I'm sure they may wonder why the little woman had the issue of blood. Amen. She spent all she had went to the best doctor. Amen. But I, I still she grew worse. I, said I kept on searching. Hey, Amen. Searching until I found it. Hey, Amen. In other words, if I went to that altar and I didn't get what I, I was looking for, I didn't give up. Hey, Amen. I, I come back and I prayed again. Hey, Amen. Had a man tell me the other night, I said, well, I've got a situation going on in my life. I prayed for it about six months. What should I do? I said, keep praying. Amen. Come on. Come on. I said, come on now, brother. I said, you're a preacher. I said that everybody that you ever preached to always gets saved the very first time you preached to them. Come on, brother. Well, no. I said, well, did you quit because they wouldn't respond? No, I kept preaching. Come on. I said, well, it's the same thing. Hey, Amen. You got to keep praying, keep believing, keep searching until that answer comes. And so tonight, I just really feel in my heart. Amen. Hey, Amen. But I needed to preach on why. Yeah. And. 
I've, I've done some study one time in a commentary, and they said, you know, one of the root words in Hebrew, if you look at the character of the word why, is confusion. And that's when the enemy wants to bring in confusion. God's not the author of confusion. No, he's not. He simply wants us to trust him. When things are good, praise the Lord. When things are not so good, praise the Lord. For David said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So I'm done tonight. I know we're getting ready to pray. I think it'd be good if we could just maybe gather around. Amen. And, amen. Call upon the name of the Lord because maybe it's not you. Maybe it's your neighbor that's uh, discouraged a little bit. Maybe it's somebody in your family that's discouraged a little bit.